excited about the, the commission for the Institute of Imagination because we really liked what they were trying to do. A big part of their work is about getting young people interested in, in creativity and sort of unleashing their, their imagination. So we quite liked the idea of, of the challenge for us to make something that would allow kids to, to imagine and to have, have new and exciting ideas. Our idea was to build a metal dome with lots and lots of toggle switches on and to make those toggle switches illuminated on the end of the shaft. If we could control the light on the end of the switch separately from the toggle switch, you can start to have some fun with that. So we built a little mock-up with seven toggle switches where when you flick that switch, maybe that one over there lights up. And then the first child that came up to use it played 12 rounds of the game on this. And from that moment on, we knew that it was going to work and couldn't wait to have the opportunity to build a version with 202 switches in it. The biggest challenge that came up quite early on was finding a, a switch that would last long enough. We were looking for illuminated toggle switches that could be flicked loads of times and we couldn't get them. In the end, we decided that maybe if we couldn't find them, that we would just have to make our own. The starting point really was making the toggle switches strong and making them so that they would last for a long time but it had to be something that clicked in a really satisfying way. One of the big things about having a, an exhibit or any kind of product with lots of switches or lots of lights on it is how you make those lights come on and how you make those switches work. So what we had to do is we, as well as making our own custom switches, we had to make our own custom circuit boards. And actually each switch and each one's also got a very tiny computer, a little tiny microcontroller that makes decisions and collects information. But the biggest thing for me that I, I always love about making things and building one-off things, so building something completely new that no one's ever made before, is the fact that it's, it's all a massive challenge. Every single step of it is something that you've got to work out, it's a problem that you've got to solve. And engineers and inventors and designers, we're using all the different tools that could be maths or physics or even you know, a hammer or, or some programming, we, we're basically taking, taking these tools to solve problems. I think every year the world gets more digital and more of our interactions are via a touch screen. So I'm really looking forward to having this installation there just to see how much people engage with it and how much people enjoy those physical interactions, the, the weight and the feel and the cold metal uh, of, of the engineering of it. So we really hope that once the exhibit's installed that actually it'll be something that kids really enjoy and that's the most important thing is that people will come and they'll flick the switches and they'll make things happen. So some of the switches will, will play music, some of the switches will, will play little sounds, some will play little games where the lights move around and some will even switch other things on in the room. So what we'd really like is for kids to have the opportunity to think about their own ideas and come up with ways to bring their own imagined ideas to life.